Hey, what's up, guys? Rev DMQ here. Got a video for you on the AK24. And the loadout that I'm using, I will say, is heavily, heavily influenced by uh, SMK Gaming. If you're not subscribed to SMK Gaming, you should do that right away. I'll post a link in the description to his channel. You need to be subscribed to him. He posted a video recently about this AK24 build and using it in single fire mode and how you lose recoil completely, which was awesome. And so I thought, okay, I want to take that and adapt it a little bit and see how it works with burst fire. And so I've been using the AK24 in burst mode quite a bit, and I think it works really well. It kind of reminds me of the AN94 a little bit, uh, which maybe that's why they put this in here like this as a two-round burst, and it can be really strong. It's a three-burst kill in most situations, uh, which is better for medium engagements. Uh, but there's a way you can use it for shorter engagements as well, but... I generally will use this in the medium range, and here's the loadout that I like. I really like the 8R Hollow. Um, so SMK recommends the hybrid, but I really like the 8R Hollow because you just you you have an instant snap. Like it aim it aims down sight so quickly. There's no delay. But for the longer engagements, I also keep the Ghost Hybrid on here. This is my favorite favorite longer range sight, and it works really well with the AK24 in burst mode. Now, for the barrel attachments, <clears throat> a long barrel is very good and a, a very good option because you get that projectile velocity. If you're at longer ranges, this can help you hit your targets a little bit easier because it's faster. Your bolts are going to be faster, but you lose the rate of fire, which in medium to short engagements is going to be detrimental to your gameplay. So I stick with the tactical compensator because of that horizontal recoil control. It is just so beneficial to have horizontal recoil control. And then for the the magazine, I'll stick with the high power rounds. Uh, you get a little bit more range. <clears throat> you lose some of those other items, but I like the high power rounds for the burst mode. And remember, I'm using this in burst mode. But I always keep the standard issue on here as a backup um, if I run out of ammo, which you can see in the video. And then for the grip, the LWG, this is really nice because you have... Uh, the accuracy while static and at those medium engagements, you're generally using it in, in, in more static positions. Uh, you're not going to be moving as much as you would with like an SMG or close quarters. And this is better than the Cobra because you don't have the decreased accuracy while moving. So it's just a better grip in total. So this is this is uh, inspired by SMK with some slight modifications for my type of gameplay. Uh, what do you guys think of the AK-24? Do you enjoy this weapon? Do you not? Let me know. Leave a comment below. But this is the loadout that I like for the way that I choose to play. And I hope this is helpful for you. Got him. There's more below. I got me. Score for me. Armor. Something with a little range on it. For that guy right there. No way I didn't get that. Dahim. They're coming in. Can I get it a little bit closer? Oh, they're right there. I need ammo. I need ammo. Ow. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going to reroute. Ooh. Only have my secondary gear. I don't like this. Found 
Ooh. Hey, Tanky. You gonna help me out? Hey, there he is. Yeah, get out of here. Looking dicey. We're at half strength. Dicey. I get it. 